Hello everyone, Farm Ferdy here and today I want to talk about the rear suspension upgrade which I have here. This is a tractive suspension extreme shock um, which obviously is going to make my suspension much better, right? Now that's the main reason why we all buy um, new suspension because we think that we need it which to be honest on a tenor ready OM shock if you set it up correctly with the correct spring grates in the front and the rear the suspension actually goes quite far um, when you do the traveling and if you are not doing too up and if you are not too heavy guy. Now obviously it does have its limits and that's why we upgrade the suspension but what I want to talk about today is a different reason than upgrading the suspension to make it better. My really really big reason to buy this really expensive piece of kit is that this thing is fully serviceable and the spare parts are just an order from Tractive and you can get it and you can replace every single piece um, of this shock. But with the Yamaha one it's not serviceable and I had destroyed the parts which are really difficult to get and to service it. So I have here the shock on the table and we can look at what is uh, what I'm looking for to be serviced and what are actually the rare parts on the suspension because uh, that makes difference if you travel for a very long time so let's do that okay so let's look at what could be serviced on the shocks obviously what we do service and everybody knows that there's oil which can be changed even on the Yamaha one uh, any Kayaba um, specialist or suspension specialist can actually service this shock change the nitrogen, change the oil, change some parts which are in the Kayaba catalog. Some of the parts though are really not in the catalog and one of those is this top um, mounting point bushing. So there is a rubber bushing which is pressed in and what actually happens is you just you know have the bolt like that and there should be no play. And uh, as you write and I destroy that in 40,000 kilometers this uh, rubber wears out and then it's gone and you have to replace it. Now that was really difficult to get it, now it's coming in the mail from Lithuania actually. Um, maybe some other suspension specialist would have it in stock, I don't know, but it was a pain to get. Um, so that's one of the things and uh, another wear part in here is the bottom fork mounting point. It doesn't have anything else than the aluminium, which means that if that wears out, as the top one did, you know, you screwed because in here you would need to replace this whole part. So that's a limitation of serviceability on the Yamaha shock. Uh, you can service it somehow. I have serviced mine once. I also changed the piston. Where is the piston? Here is the piston for the KTEP upgrade. So you can actually do that from the third parties. But, you know, spare parts are a little bit of a finicky for that one. If we look into how Tractive and Olins and Tefix and all do that, it's a completely different idea because it's it designed to be serviceable. So in here, in the mounting point, we have these two steel bushings which are pressed in and there is a circlip which you can um, replace them. So easily ordered and replaced and much actually stronger than a rubber mount because this is not gonna wear out that quickly as that rubber mount. And at the bottom, again, we have uh, serviceability in mind. So we have a aluminum body of the fork and then there are these steel insets which you can press in and press out if they wear out. So really, really important um, for me. Again, every single piece on this shock is serviceable and you can order that from Tractive or All-Ins or whatever. This is an example. This is from the Rally Raid shock which was attractive on the Honda and I could replace this whole thing because it got worn out uh, when I didn't maintain my suspension properly which brings me to another topic so we have linkage and there's bearings in the linkage and there's one more in the swing arm and these all points are the wear parts so we have this we have that we have all the linkages 
And we want the minimal play in all of them. And if there's any play in there, we need to replace it because even a smaller play is going to destroy all parts in the system much quicker than if we have really nice and um, sealed uh, joints, really. And here is a problem. So my bearings are actually all fine. But what's problem here is that there is a massive play in this bushing, this collar and the bolt. Like this is not good, right? This whole bolt is now loose inside that collar. And what's going to do is that it's going to vibrate and it's going to put the stress on all the parts. So this needs to be changed. And that's then exactly the same for the shop. So that's one of the big reasons why this is a good investment from the beginning. I have invested a lot in the OEM shock and in terms of suspension and my need, it was more or less okay. But this is going to last me forever on the Tenere. And that's what I want because I really want to be able to just order part or even machine the parts on the road and just press them in because that is doable in the world. Like finding that or machining all this part, not so much. So, yeah, that's it. Um, just uh, really a different point of view on the suspension upgrades and how it influences the decision, really. So hopefully uh, you find it useful. See you later.